Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people out there ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, we'll give a shout out to the acting that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Shalom to you, Akim. Also to the Israelite forms, the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, whose bloodline chases back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Though you may look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst the heathen nations, as you see on this chart right here, are the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your seed line goes back to these tribes right here through the man, and if it's spirit, bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you may look like the heathens. Nations are scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people on this chart. So you're going to have Israelites that look like the other nations due to the scattering. To you few Aquaf that do listen, learn, that do watch these videos, Shalom to you. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this world is going out to, shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, once again, Yahweh Shah. Okay, and um, I got a, a video on Dabu 77's page, and I'm going to play this clip. None of us is just one you. At BBNT, never discovered until now. That's lucky. Very interesting situation here. You have to use discernment with everything going on with these diseases and concoctions worldwide with everything with the coronavirus and, and other things that are going on. We have to really look at the situation because they'll come out and try to tell us that something came from this or that. And then you find a patent on it, and it says, hold on, no, this is concocted in a lab. Here's the proof. What else has been concocted in a lab? Well, I just think to myself, what if there's a mad scientist out there, government scientist, if any degree, anywhere, that wanted to do something to someone? They wouldn't say, oh, we're releasing this from our lab, or it came from our lab. They would plant it in the wild somewhere and say, look what we found. That is exactly what just happened here in Brazil. As the scientists say, they have discovered this Yara virus, is how they've named it. The virus appears to be almost entirely new. Keywords. Consisting of unrecognizable genes that have been until now undocumented. So there's a chance, there's a chance here that uh, this could be something they randomly discovered in nature that was never discovered until now, or it could be exactly like I was saying before, concocted, and that's why they've never seen anything consisting of what they've discovered here. It is a bunch of different uh, things tied into this, and Hey, I just want to throw it out there. We've got a lot going on globally. Other mystery illnesses, even Germany reporting some stuff I'm going to talk about in a separate video. But this is the latest in terms of Brazil in this puzzling virus of unknown origin that they're calling the Yara virus now. I'll leave links. Follow me on Twitter. So you just heard that, okay? And Brazil, down in Brazil, which a majority of you Brazilians, okay, you so-called Brazilians, you're Israelites, man, okay? You're Israelites, okay? You so-called Latinos, you're Israelites. Um, down in Brazil, you just uh, I just played this clip. There's now another uh, uh, virus, okay? Another uh, 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 plague, basically. And it's called, he said, the, right here, it says the Yara virus, okay? And they said that um they can't identify, which most likely it does. Have a patent to us, which was most likely was uh 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 it was you know created by in the lab by Esau Edom, who is a self-proclaimed white man, okay, self-proclaimed white race. They're the Edomites, okay. 
And even if that was the case, even if Esau created the uh, viruses, which I believe he did, okay, the Most High put the spirit on Esau to do it, okay? The Most High is in control of everything, okay? And now, it was another clip I would have showed you, um, but I believe they took it down off his page before anybody could really get to it. On Dabu 77's page, you had a... Um, now you now have a uh, have a virus. He even said in that video that you have a virus going on in Germany now. So you have the coronavirus. You got the bird flu that's back, okay? You got this virus, the Yara virus, and you have one in Germany, okay? And I believe it's a lot more, okay? But um, this is uh Second Ezra fifteen, and um. Forty nine, Second Ezra fifteen and forty nine says, "I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, and why is it going to be widowhood? Meaning you women out there, you women, okay, you gonna be uh, uh by yourselves out here real soon, man. Why? Because of destruction that's coming, okay. You know the race wars, uh, the class wars, the food wars, the riot wars, the pestilence as you see in this video, okay. The um World War three, okay. All these uh calamities that's about to come upon this world." Mainly coming here to Homeland America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. Okay, a lot of these so-called men that you might think, you know, they're tough, you know, they got all the riches in this world, okay? They're going to perish, okay, if they're not an Israelite, and not only if they're not an Israelite, if they're not the elect, okay? They're going to perish, man, okay? They're going to die by these different, you know, you know, uh, 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 different calamities that Yahweh Bashim is sending upon here, man. So you're going to have a lot of women out here that's just going to be let loose out here, man. Okay? That's why Isaiah uh, 4 and 1 uh, says what it says. And Isaiah 13 and 12 says, I will make it more a man more precious than fine gold, more than the golden wedge of Ophir. Okay? Because it's, you gonna, it's going to be a lack of men out here. That's why I also says, you know, 2nd Ezra uh, 16 and 33, that uh, the virgins shall mourn having no helpers and no bridegrooms. Okay? It says poverty, okay? And what do you see right now? You're seeing an uh, economic collapse, okay, that's happening. The society is declining, okay? Whether you can see it or not. Spiritually, you can see it, but for physically, you're now seeing it, okay? You're seeing a mall, you're seeing four malls, okay, closing and shutting down due to the anchor stores like Sears and Macy's. Jay-Z, Penny, they're closing, okay? You're seeing, um, you're walking in these shopping centers now. You're just walking... Driving past, you're seeing police signs everywhere, okay? Or you're seeing uh, empty uh, retailer stores, okay? That's the poverty. So what's that causing? Causing people to lose jobs. That's why you have an explosion in the homeless population throughout this country, okay? Especially in California, but it's, it's now in most of your major cities, if not to your uh, neighboring counties, okay? It says famine, okay? And that's also uh, uh, coming to pass, okay? This coronavirus is also a uh, effect to that too because a lot, uh, and also the uh, the storms that Yahweh Bashim Shai sent across the land. Okay, the uh, these farmers, as I said before, they don't have enough. Um, they didn't, they didn't, they weren't able to grow enough crops. Okay, the last coming into this year, due to the floodings and the uh, destruction of the natural disasters that Yahweh Bashim Shai sent uh, uh, on them. Okay. It says in the second uh, Ezra the fifteenth chapter, how Egypt shall mourn they that uh, till the ground. Okay, shall weep. I believe. No, I butchered it, but it's somewhat to that effect. Okay, look it up. You know, and that's causing a food shortage. That's why now you're going into stores like Walmart's a good example. Which Walmart they get a majority of their products from China, including the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Okay, if you're going in there now, you're going to notice that you have large gaps. Of um, you know, products that's just missing, and they'll put a sign up saying temporarily out of stock. You've never seen that in this country, okay? But that's the famine that's coming now. It's out there that uh, real quick, going on his page. I'm gonna just show you for myself, right here. It says UN warns twin invasion of locusts set to invade India 
And I believe it said, let me go on it. Pakistan. Turn hungry into happy. Yep, in Pakistan. And right now, in East Africa, you have the same thing happening. You have the same uh 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 thing happening. You have locusts over in East Africa, okay? The, them East African countries, they eating the uh, uh crops up. It's billions of locusts that you heard about Shima Shah sending on the um on those those uh those countries. Cause a lot of you Hamites, which you so called Africans, you descend from the uh you descend from Ham, okay? You are a part of putting us in the captivity as well, okay? So Lord's uh, rec uh bringing recompense upon all our enemies, okay? He's he's uh, uh troubling all our enemies, okay? As he said he would, okay? So that's causing what famines, okay? And um, sword, and if you go to Psalms sixteen, seventeen, and uh thirteen, the sword is who Esau, Edom, the wicked, okay? That's gonna be come through the form of what martial law. Which a lot of these events that you're seeing is going to lead to uh, 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 martial law, okay? They're now uh, saying that they're going to do a medical martial law over in uh, Wuhan, China, or China, period. Due to this uh, this virus that's spreading and getting worse and worse, okay? That surpassed a thousand deaths, which I believe is it's, it's way more. And from the evidence, you have people coming out saying there's way more deaths, but they're going to underestimate that, okay? That's the sword, man. Okay, that's going to be unleashed real soon as well. And pestilence, which is what? Diseases. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. And that's what's happening. Okay? All these things is happening or getting ready to happen. Okay? One th one prophecy leads to another prophecy coming to pass. As you see. Okay? And, um, this is uh Jeremiah 28. And 7. It says, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, diseases. Okay? And that's us backing a lot today. And America, okay, is a great kingdom. It's a great, uh, 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 the top kingdom to its day, right? Of war, because America is known for what? Uh, uh, um, starting most of the wars, okay? And of evil, right? And of pestilence, diseases, okay? This is that kingdom. And we're, we're, we're what? We're backing a lot right now to do the same thing that our forefathers did, you know, during the Neo-Babylonian uh, 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 Empire, during the uh, Medo-Persian Empire, during the uh, time of the Greeks, during the time of the Romans, the, the ancient Romans, okay? Which those were Edomites too. But you have the Edomite Romans. I'll just put it that way. Because you had some Israelites that claimed that they were Romans. You know? But um, that's what we're back now. Okay? It was prophesied that this will happen. You know? The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai have truly sent them. Okay? This is the time we is 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 being found out who is who. Okay? The scriptures say the spirit of the prophets is uh belong to the prophets, I believe. Okay. This is Matthew 24. And um, let me just get it right here. I start at three. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came on to him, privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And I always quote this when I get the scripture that if you go to 2 Ezra 6 chapter, the 7th verse, it tells you that the end of the world, that Esau is the end of the world. And Esau is once again the so-called Caucasian race. They're the Edomites. Esau is Edom, right? They're the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, which Jacob Okay, you you twelve tribes, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites. Okay, you're going to be the next uh, uh, world to come, the next uh, rulers of the next world that we're about to enter into. Okay, and this is a sign. So I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says, "And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." Okay, you have the whole uh, thing surrounding. What happened with Iran, the killing of Soleimani, okay, the uh, top general of Iran, the uh, general Soleimani, 
Okay? You now have uh, uh, turkey. Okay? You have turkey and... um. Uh, you have turkey. I will look it up. Let me just look it up real quick. Which is Gomer according to the scriptures. Right? Here's one example. There's plenty of examples, but this is just the one I seen this morning. Okay? Turkey will hit Syrian government forces anywhere. It says Syrian war government will pay heavy price for attacking Turkish troops. Okay? So this is just one of the many wars and rumors of wars, okay? So that's that's in the play right now. Okay? So um going back Bear with me real quick. This uh I'm gonna read it again. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall have wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, you're seeing that. The race wars being brewed up. Okay? You're seeing more and more racial, you know, uh 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 uh, uh conflict, especially between Jacob and Esau, the two main characters of the scriptures. Which you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and these so called white people. That's where the, the that's where the main characters of the scriptures are. And that's where you see in the ten, the racial tensions hitting. Okay? That's gonna happen. And there shall be famines and pestilences, diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is the what we're in. Where all all these signs, all these plagues that you're seeing is what? The beginning of sorrows, but it's also the uh 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 the signs Showing you that Yahweh by Shemel Shah, okay, is um on his way back. That he's about to make his big return. This is what you will deem the second exodus, okay? Who? Redeeming the elect, okay? Alright, and this is why, you know, because we're not the only ones that's witnessing this, okay, you have the elites, okay, on the left hand side, the wicked, okay, the wicked rulers of this society, this kingdom, they're watching, okay, what's coming to pass as well, because the elites, okay, they have some sort of uh, uh, knowledge through their so-called biblical scholars of what is what and what will take place, okay, and they're also watching these videos that we're doing as well. Okay, it's not just you people. They're watching too. They're watching these prophecies come to pass to, to uh, show that we're at the end of their rulership. Okay? So what are they going to do? They're going to come down with this great wrath. And I want to end it with this. This uh Daniel 7 and 21. Right? Let me see. Actually, bear with me real quick. Yeah, okay. Um... Yep, this uh Daniel's 7, I'll start 21. It says, And I beheld, and the same horn which 
and made war with the saints. And that horn is talking about America, okay? And the saints are Israelites, but it's going to be the elect on this side, okay? So Esau, okay, is getting ready to make war, okay? Mainly on you tribes, because you tribes are a threat, okay, to his, his being. I'm going to just put it that way. You're a threat to his being. So he's going to come down with great wrath on the whole world, but he's really going to come down on you tribes. He's going to do this, this one last time to try to uh, eliminate and exterminate you, okay? So that, you know, 2nd Ezra 6 and 7 won't come into play. Them going into captivity won't come into play, but it's not going to work, okay? The Lord's going to use Esau, because Esau, like I said earlier, according to Psalms 17 and 13, he is the, the, uh, the sword of the Most High. The Most High is going to only let him get the two-thirds of our people, the ones, the Israelites that the Yahweh by Shema Shai don't want. Okay, I'm going to read again. I beheld this in the same who made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the ancient of days came. Right. And judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. The time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. OK. And that's what we're getting ready to do. OK. We're getting ready uh, to possess the kingdom. Right. Right. It says. Thus said, thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, and the fourth beast is what? America. Okay? America, the fourth beast, which consists of America. Okay, you got NATO and the EU. That's what this beast consists of. Basically, the uh uh, uh the it's the modern uh Roman Empire, okay? The modern version of the ancient uh, uh pagan Roman Empire, okay? That's back today, okay, through America, uh, uh NATO and the EU, okay. Which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. Okay? And that's what America's been doing. America's, okay, starting with you tribes. After Esau got done with you tribes, he just went around the whole earth, you know, conquering. Okay? And devouring people. And he's still doing it right now. But the Lord's about to uh, 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 put an end to it. And they see it. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise and another shall rise after them. And he shall be diverse from the first and shall subdue Three kings, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and that's what he's been doing. Okay, he it started off with uh, his so-called with so-called Christianity by him saying that who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Okay, is a so-called white man with long hair and blue eyes. Okay, that the angels, their so-called white babies. Okay, that naked white babies to keep in fact. Okay, when that's all, it's it's false. It's blasphemy. Okay, and, and he what the scriptures say that Esau uh, uh, is the accuser of thy brethren. Well, who does he accuse? He accuse you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, he puts a negative light on you. Okay, so that's just another form of him blast. You know, uh, speaking great words against the Most High by also speaking against his people. Okay, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. How is he wearing our people out? You got our people working on the, uh, these low level jobs. Okay, working pay that paycheck to paycheck. Okay, while you have these Edomites that sitting, you know, on the top of the food chain or these different companies, they at the top. They don't do nothing. They don't put their hands on nothing. They just sit back and let you do all the labor, and they wear you out. Okay, that's because they got that through the so-called transatlantic slave trade. I mean, this transatlantic slave trade. Okay, that's how they got that. Okay, and to think, and think. Think to change times and laws, and they shall be given to his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. Okay? And that's the time we're in. The, the signs I read to you, just part of the signs I read to you in Matthew, the 24th chapter, those are the, sign, uh, the signs, okay, that uh, 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 shows you that we're at the end of Esau being able to rule, okay, with the right of arm like he's been doing, okay? But the judgment shall sit. And they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it on to the end. This is what's getting ready to happen. Okay? You these Edomites that you see, they, they're prospering, okay? They walk around, you know, their houses are not troubled, like Psalms the 73rd chapter say. Okay, they're getting ready, okay, to be the filth of the earth. Okay? They're getting ready to lose everything. Starting with the elites. They're getting ready to lose everything. Okay? This is why they're gonna come down with great wrath. Okay, and these signs I just showed you uh, are, 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 are the signs to show you uh, to measure the time that we're at his end. 
Okay? And they feel it. Everybody feels it. Everybody feels like something major is about to happen. There's a good, a great paradigm shift getting ready to happen. Because we are at that time. And the kingdom and demand the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints, the Israelites of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Okay? So this kingdom that's coming up, which is the kingdom of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, the Israelites, okay, under Yahweh Bashim Shah, okay, this kingdom is going to be forever. It's going to be everlasting, okay? After this captivity that we're in right now, we not you you are not going into captivity no more. That's it, man. This is the last captivity for our people. Okay? This kingdom that's coming, okay, will be the greatest kingdom, okay, of all these heathenistic kingdoms that came and gone. Okay? This is gonna be the greatest, and this is gonna be an everlasting kingdom. These heathen will no more uh 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 take plot to cast us out of our rulership anymore. That's it, man, after this. And these Edomites know that. These heathens know that, but the heathen nations, okay, these other heathen nations, they want us to come into power because they're through, okay, suffering under this rulership, okay? These Edomites, they know, well, starting with the uh, elites, they know that after this, that's it. They're not going to rise back up like they uh, rose back up, okay? That's it for them, okay? It's the thousand years according to um, Revelation uh, 20 and 5, okay? And after that thousand years is up, the Edomites will be the only nation of uh, people to be done away with. That's going to be totally eradicated. Okay? Because the kingdom of heaven, is, which is going to play out on earth, okay, is going to be a righteous kingdom. And them being the wicked, they can't do right. So what, what's going to be the need for them? They won't have a need. That's why they're going to be done away with, according to Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay? And this is what we're pushing. This is the vibration through these videos that we're pushing. To get ready, you know, for the second coming of Yahweh Shah, okay? Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. And this is what he's coming to do. He's coming to take one people out of power. And he's coming to put another race of people, which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? In power. To set you up. He's coming to cast one ruler down and to set up another ruler, okay? And these are the signs to show you that this is what's getting ready to play out, okay? These are the signs... That's uh, 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 you were to be looking for, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, be looking for to show you how close we're at the end of this, okay? So, that's the lesson. Yahweh Ratazai, this was edifying. Call hello, Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem, I was shy. Peace, you know, shalom to the elect. Baba Gashah, Abba Babo, Abba Babo, Abba Ha, Ayabia, Kwam Yasharala, shalom to the elect.